Hello and welcome dear traders and investors. I'm glad to present to you the daily market preview prepared by experts and analysts of fx.co portal. Here we go. Today is January 27 and we're starting from GBP USD pair as usual with Jakub Novak. Although the UK labor productivity report had no impact on the market, buyers tried to continue pounds gains yesterday. However, by afternoon, the strong US GDP report boosted dollar up, resulting in decrease in GBP USD. Traders bought back the losses shortly after, which kept the bear in balance for the rest of the day. Most likely, the sideways trend will continue today as no UK statistics is scheduled to be released. More exciting reports await in the afternoon, namely the core PCE index, the Fed's preferred inflation figure. The change in spending levels and personal income, the Consumer Sentiment Index and Inflation Expectation Index from the University of Michigan. Good readings will raise dollar demand further, which will lead to another decline in pound sterling dollar pair. For long positions, you can buy a pound when the quote reaches 1.2405 and take profit at the price of 1.2455. Growth could occur as there are no statistics scheduled to be released today. However, make sure when then when buying, the MACD line is above zero or is starting to rise from it. Pound can also be bought at 1.2360. But the MACD line should be in an oversold area. As only by that will the market reverse to 1.2405 and 1.2455. For short positions, you could sell pound when the quote reaches 1.2360 and take profit at the price of 1.2314. Pressure will increase if the upcoming US data exceeds expectations. However, make sure that when selling, the MACD line is below zero, or is starting to move down from it. Pound can also be sold at 1.2405. But the MACD line should be in the overbought area, as only by that will the market reverse to 1.2360 and 1.2314. We got a trading signal for gold, Dimitrios Tapas reports. Early in the European session, gold is trading around 1926, below the 21 SMA 1934 and below the 78 Murray 1937.50. The daily pivot point is located at 1932, which could be a sign that if gold trades below this level, we could expect it to continue falling in the coming days. Gold's strength weakened after picking at 1949, and the price is now falling below 1934, 21 SMA. Gold is under bearish pressure due to the recovery of the dollar supported by US data. Gross domestic product for the fourth quarter increased by 2.9% above the consensus estimate of 2.8%. According to the 4-hour chart, we can see that the Japanese candlesticks are showing signs of a technical correction and it's likely that gold will continue to fall in the coming days until it reaches the 200 EMA, located at 1862. We can also see that the uptrend channel formed since December 20 was broken. 
which could be a sign of a strong technical correction in the coming days and the instrument could fall towards 1900 and 1862. If gold trades below 1934 in the next few days, we can expect it to continue falling and the price could reach the psychological level of 1900 and could even reach 6 8 Murray at 1875. Our trading plan for the next few hours is to sell gold below 1934 with targets at 1920 and 1901 and 1875. The eagle indicator is given a negative signal and it's approaching oversold levels. The key will be to wait for gold to reach the area of 1875, which will be a good support to resume the bearish cycle. The next in line is Laurie Bailey with AUD USD forecast. AUD USD has initially consolidated in the 0 0.7090 0 0.7130 range. The body of Thursday's daily candle is fully within this range. The signal line of the Marlin oscillator starts to turn down. It is quite possible that the Australian dollar, which is leading gains this week, is tired of growth and turns down from the current levels. It is possible that the price will go above the reached range. But the Federal Reserve meeting will be held on Wednesday. And in case this meeting has a hawkish tone, the US dollar will attack on all the financial fronts and the AUD-USD pair will not reach the target level of 0 0.7284. In fact, we will get a typical false breakout above the technical resistance. On the 4-hour chart, the price consolidates in the 0 0.7090, 0 0.7130 range. The Marlin Oscillator is in a position where it can be interpreted in two ways. The formation of a small divergence, this is a possible decline and a small correction. And the second variant is the decrease in the signal line of the oscillator as a discharge of the oscillator before its further growth. Further price growth as development of the current uptrend can happen once the price settles above 0 0.7130. The reversal may occur only when the price crosses the MACD line indicator, blue line on graphic, at point of 0 0.7063. This mark coincides with the local low of January 25. That's all for today. See you next time. Good luck.